So what I'm going to show you here in this video is how to create a new base site in a new site collection based off an existing template. So what we're going to do is the first thing we need to do is create a template based on an existing team site. So the way you do that is you navigate to the team site um, that you want to use as your base. You go into the top right and you select the cog or the settings and from the menu that appears you go into site settings. So this takes you to the admin area um, of that team site. You'll notice that under site actions I have an option here to save a site as a template. So if I select that what I need to provide is a file name, a template name, description and potentially include the content. Now once I've done that, that will then save that template file into the Solutions Gallery. Now the Solutions Gallery is also in Site Settings under Web Designer Gallery, so you'll find it down here under Solutions. So if I select that, what you'll see is this will give me a list of the um, team site templates that I've already saved. You'll notice that I have one in here already created. Now what I need to do is I need to download this so I can then use it in another site collection that I'm about to create. So to do that what I'll need to do is save it locally so all I need to do is click on the hyperlink for the name and then choose the location to save it into. Now I've already done that so I've downloaded this file uh, which is a WSP extension into my local machine. Now what I'm going to do now is go out and create a completely new SharePoint site collection. So I log into the Office 365 Admin Center as an administrator. I go up to the admin in the top right and I select SharePoint. Now this will take me to the specific SharePoint admin area of Office 365 and we'll see a list here of all the existing site collections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here into the new button and select to create a new private site collection. Now when I do that I'm going to have to give it a uh, the site a name, so I'm going to call it new site, uh, give it uh, a URL, so I'm going to give it the URL new site, and you'll see here that I normally would choose from a number of preordained SharePoint templates, typically the team site under collaboration, but I could also select from enterprise and publishing. Now what we want actually is we want to include a custom template, but um, we what we'll do is we'll select custom and then select the option here that says select a template later so that'll allow us to upload our custom template but we can't do that just yet so we continue on and we set the time zone to being what it needs we set the uh, administrator the primary uh, site administrator we set up some space and we allocate some resources to this site collection so when we're ready we hit OK remembering that in the template area we've selected custom and select template later so we hit OK and this will now create and allocate the resources for this new site collection we'll notice the message in the top right here indicating it may take up to 15 minutes to complete You'll notice that the URL appears here in our list with a little uh, spinning icon here indicating that the site is being created. So while that's happening, let's just take a brief pause. Okay, now that the site has been created, you'll notice that it appears with a hyperlink. It also appears with the new icon next to it. So if we click on the hyperlink, we'll see the site collection properties but we can now click on the actual web address link here and this will bring up the site in a new browser for us. Now, because we've created the site collection but as yet we haven't allocated a template, we're now prompted to enter a template. So we can again choose from the standard SharePoint ones, but what I want to do is upload my custom one. Now, the option down the bottom here under Solution Gallery allows me to do that. So what I need to do is select Solution Gallery. So this will take me to the Solution Gallery for the new site collection, which as yet doesn't have anything in it. Now I can go to the Upload Solution and browse to the location where my saved template is from the old site collection, from the source site collection. Select that and this will now upload that template into the Solution Gallery for my new site collection and allow me to use that. So once that's uploaded, 
uh, what I'll just need to do is go back and then go back into the option to select a template. So um, firstly, uh, once we've done that, you'll see that we need to activ activate the solution. So simply hit the activate button and that will come back and show us that we have uploaded the template successfully and that it is currently activated. So if we close that and we go once again to the web address for the site, you'll see that we are brought up again with the option for the standard SharePoint um, templates. But if we now go to the custom tab, you'll see that I have my uh, new template that I up just uploaded. So I can now select that to use, go OK. And now the base site in this new site collection will be created based on the template that I've just uploaded. So let's just give that a minute. Okay, now that this site has been created, we just need to uh, allocate some security. So we'll give these the standard security. So we create visitors, members, and owners and then select OK and this will then complete the creation of our base team site in our new site collection. So we can see that this is um, slightly different from our standard team site. You'll notice that here I have under recent survey issue promoted links discussion and calendars so and this SKU pricing. So these items have come across from the template that we saved and now uploaded. So basically in summary the process that has been followed is to firstly uh, identify the team site that you wish to use as a template then go into the site settings and save that as a template. Once you've saved it as a template you go into the solutions area you then download that solution to a local uh, disk. Then you go into a site collection and create a new site collection, uh, but don't select to use any template. You then uh, access the site, upload the template into the new solution gallery, and then use that as your base to end up with the old template as the base for the site in the new site collection. So hopefully that's made it um, easy enough for you to follow on how to take a existing site template in SharePoint and use it with a new site collection. Thank you very much for watching.